Good morning. The National Court yesterday ordered pre-trial imprisonment of a man suspected of killing a Catholic church officer and injuring four more during a machete attack last week in Algeciras. The investigating judge agreed to the public prosecutor's request for prison without bail for Yassin Kanjar. After the 25-year-old Moroccan testified for over an hour in a court in Madrid, the judge ruled that he should be tried for manslaughter and terrorism charges. The judge said Kanjar carried out a jihadi attack, although he said the suspect was not linked to any specific terrorist organisation. Police on Friday raided the suspect's home where they found electronic devices, documents and the scabbard for the machete used in the attack. The judge said there should be no bail for Kanjar because of the flight risk that he posed as well as the risk of him hiding evidence or committing more crimes whilst waiting for the investigation to conclude. A trial could take months. Some 200 people were evacuated yesterday from a camp housing hundreds of migrant workers after a fire engulfed the site. The fire in Almeria took place on the same day that the camp was supposed to be demolished following an order from the Nirha City Council. A court order for the camp's demolition said structures there were dilapidated and built without a housing licence. It's unclear how the fire started. Most of the camp's residents were men from sub-Saharan Africa and Morocco working on the many farms in the area. Together with tourism, agriculture was a primary source of income for the region. The camp consisted of hundreds of huts built around 15 years ago and housed up to 500 migrant workers. The evacuated inhabitants were taken by bus to a nearby warehouse where charity workers received them. Environmental activists yesterday held a demonstration at Parliament protesting at the government's subsidies for livestock. Three activists from the Vegetable Future Group entered Parliament and glued themselves to the microphones on the podium where lawmakers make their speeches. Saying that enough is enough, the activists vowed to hold further action as long as the government continues to subsidise livestock. Shortly after, they were forced out of the building by security guards. And a weekly strike of air traffic controllers began yesterday as 162 workers walked off the job. Previously announced by the Air Traffic Controllers Union, the strike will affect 16 airports and is slated to take place every Monday for 24 hours from now until the 17th of February. In total, the weekly strike is expected to affect 28% of all Spanish air traffic. Locally, the strike will hit the control towers of Valencia Airport, Alicante, Elche, La Palma, Ibiza and Murcia. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.